The journey of discovery often leads us to uncharted territories, and it's in those unexpected findings where the magic of science truly lies. This is exactly how teams like NASA operate. They take on the impossible, making groundbreaking achievements that redefine our understanding of the universe. For centuries, people have gazed up at the night sky, wondering if we are alone in the vast expanse of space. Today, we stand on the brink of revelations that will likely surpass anything we've ever imagined. The incredible discoveries we are about to uncover will not only astonish us, but will also shift our perspective on life, the universe, and everything within it. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. The head of NASA recently announced that the telescope, our new eye into the cosmos, has captured a groundbreaking image. This photograph reveals a secret hidden within the farthest reaches of our cosmic neighborhood. Life on a world known as Proxima b. If confirmed, this discovery could change everything we know about life in the universe, offering us an entirely new understanding of what lies beyond our small blue planet. This discovery is not just about the image or Proxima itself. It's about the capabilities of the JWST, a marvel of modern science that provides us with insights into the cosmos like never before. Thanks to its unique positioning in space and cutting-edge technology, the telescope offers views of distant galaxies, planets, and stars in unprecedented detail. It's not an overstatement to say that the JWST will transform our view of the universe and, by extension, our place within it. The JWST's 6.5-meter-wide primary mirror is one of its most impressive features, vastly outperforming the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been a vital tool for space research over the last 30 years. With a mirror that's over twice as large, the JWST can detect even the faintest sources of light from the furthest corners of the universe. This enhanced sensitivity allows scientists to study cosmic objects that have long been beyond the reach of even our most advanced telescopes. For decades, scientists have speculated about what exists in the vast regions of space that regular telescopes cannot probe. Thanks to the JWST's massive mirror and advanced sensors, we can now capture details that were once purely theoretical. The telescope is equipped with state-of-the-art instruments designed to detect a wide range of light frequencies. One of these is the Near-Infrared Camera, an IR cam which is capable of capturing images in the near-infrared portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. Near-infrared light has a unique ability to penetrate clouds of cosmic dust that would otherwise block our view. This means that scientists can peer deeper into space than ever before, studying the formation of stars and galaxies in their infancy. NERCOM's high-resolution imaging capabilities give researchers the chance to observe stellar nurseries, places where stars are born, and witness the cosmic processes that give rise to galaxies. Such observations help us understand how galaxies form, evolve, and interact with each other over billions of years. Another groundbreaking instrument aboard the JWST is the Near Infrared Spectrograph, an IR spec, which provides an entirely new method of studying celestial objects. Instead of capturing images, an IR spec breaks down the light emitted by stars and galaxies into its component colors or spectra. This process, known as spectroscopy, reveals a wealth of information about the chemical composition, temperature, and movement of these objects. By analyzing the light spectra from stars and galaxies, scientists can determine what elements are present in these celestial bodies and how they interact with their surroundings. Spectroscopy is like reading the fingerprints of the universe. Each chemical element has a unique signature, leaving distinctive absorption and emission lines in the light it produces. By examining these spectral lines, scientists can deduce what stars and galaxies are made of, how they move through space, and even how they evolve over time. This method is particularly valuable for studying distant galaxies, especially those with high redshifts, galaxies whose light has traveled billions of years to reach us. By examining these ancient galaxies, researchers can glimpse the universe as it was in its early days, providing clues about how galaxies have changed throughout cosmic history. In addition to NIR CAM and NIR SPEC, the JWST also features the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, which is designed to study the mid-infrared portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. MIRI allows astronomers to observe a wide variety of cosmic phenomena, from the birth of stars to the detection of atmospheres on distant planets. 
One of Miri's primary missions is to peer through the thick clouds of dust that shroud stellar nurseries and examine the processes that drive star and planet formation. Infrared light can penetrate these dust clouds, giving Miri the ability to capture detailed images and spectra of regions that are otherwise obscured. By doing so, Miri provides critical insights into the conditions that give rise to stars and planets. Miri also plays a vital role in the study of exoplanets, planets that exist outside our solar system. It is capable of detecting the faint heat signatures of exoplanet atmospheres, which is crucial for determining the composition, weather patterns, and potential habitability of these distant worlds. Worlds One of the most exciting aspects of Mir's capabilities is its potential to detect biomarkers in exoplanetary atmospheres. Biomarkers are chemical signatures that could indicate the presence of life. By analyzing the light P passing through a planet's atmosphere, Miri can search for traces of water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and other gases that are necessary for life as we know it. These observations are a key part of the search for habitable worlds and ultimately the search for extraterrestrial life. The JWST doesn't just take images and spectra. It also plays a critical role in atmospheric analysis. Spectroscopy is essential for this work as it allows scientists to study the light absorbed and emitted by an exoplanet's atmosphere as the planet passes in front of its parent star, an event known as a transit. The JWST can observe the starlight filtering through the planet's atmosphere. By analyzing this light, scientists can determine the atmospheric composition of the exoplanet and assess its potential to support life. The JWST instruments are perfectly suited for this task. ANAM excels at detecting objects in the near-infrared range, while specializes in the mid-infrared range. Together, these instruments cover a wide spectrum of light, providing comprehensive data on a planet's atmospheric composition. This information is particularly valuable during transit events, as the starlight passing through the planet's atmosphere contains critical clues about its chemical makeup. As the starlight interacts with molecules in the atmosphere, it leaves behind distinct fingerprints in the light spectrum. The JWST spectroscopic tools then analyze this light to determine which chemicals are present. Every molecule has a unique spectral signature, which makes it possible for scientists to identify the elements and compounds in a planet's atmosphere with remarkable precision. This data provides a window into the planet's environment and helps researchers determine whether the world in question could be habitable. Scientists also use comparative spectroscopy, which involves studying multiple exoplanets with similar characteristics to identify trends and anomalies in their spectra. By comparing the spectral data from different planets, researchers can gain a broader understanding of what makes a planet habitable and what might differentiate a living world from a lifeless one. This method of comparison is particularly useful when studying exoplanets with similar sizes, masses, and distances from their parent stars. By analyzing the spectra of these worlds, scientists can identify patterns in the chemical makeup of their atmospheres. These patterns might reveal the presence of life-sustaining molecules or conversely highlight the absence of conditions necessary for life. Comparative spectroscopy allows scientists to narrow down the list of potentially habitable worlds and focus their efforts on the most promising candidates. In the case of Proxima b, the planet in question orbits the star Proxima Centaur, a red dwarf located just 4.24 light years from Earth. Discovered in 2016, Proxima b quickly captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike due to its proximity to Earth and its location in the habitable zone of its parent star. The habitable zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, is the region around a star where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist, an essential ingredient for life as we know it. Proxima b's location in the habitable zone has led to intense speculation about its potential to support life. However, many factors influence a planet's habitability. Beyond its position relative to its star, the planet's atmosphere, water supply, temperature, and geological activity all play critical roles in determining whether life could thrive there. For instance, scientists are particularly interested in understanding Proxima b's atmosphere. The planet is tidy locked meaning one side is always facing its star while the other side remains in perpetual darkness. This could lead to extreme temperature variations between the two hemispheres, making it difficult for for life to survive. However, if Proxima b has a thick enough atmosphere, 
it could help redistribute heat across the planet's surface, creating more stable conditions. Researchers are also keen to determine whether Proxima b has liquid water, which is essential for life. The presence of water on the planet would significantly increase its chances of being habitable. Scientists believe that future observations by the JWST could provide valuable insights into Proxima b's atmosphere, water content, and overall habitability. The discovery of life on Proxima b or any other exoplanet would be a monumental achievement for humanity. It would not only confirm that we are not alone in the universe, but also suggest that life may be widespread across the cosmos. Such a discovery would revolutionize our understanding of biology, evolution, and the conditions necessary for life to emerge and thrive. We are on the verge of discovering things we never imagined. Isn't that exactly how this team operates? They make the impossible possible. For ages, people have wondered if we are alone in the universe. Now we're poised to uncover astonishing secrets, just as this team always does, turning the unimaginable into reality. We've gazed at the stars, dreamed about distant galaxies, and pondered the possibility of life on planets far from our little blue world. Finally, the moment has arrived. The head of NASA just revealed that the James Webb Space Telescope has captured an extraordinary image. Wait for it. Life has been discovered on a distant planet called Proxima b. This revelation changes everything. The JWST is an incredible scientific tool, revolutionizing how we see the universe. Thanks to its position in space and cutting-edge technology, it offers scientists a view unlike any before, enabling them to study galaxies, planets, and stars in a way that was once unimaginable. While this might sound like hyperbole, the JWST has the technology to back up these claims. One of its most impressive features is its 6.5M primary mirror, nearly twice the size of the Hubble Space Telescopes. For three decades, Hubble has been indispensable in space research, but the JWST's larger mirror allows it to detect faint light from the farthest reaches of the universe, something scientists couldn't do before. Where previous telescopes could only guess, the JWST can now bring those distant details into focus. In addition to its large mirror, the JWST boasts high-tech instruments that detect different wavelengths of light. Its near-infrared camera, an IR cam, is a powerful tool that captures images in the near-infrared part of the spectrum. Near-infrared light penetrates clouds of cosmic dust that block visible light, allowing us to peer deeper into the universe. The camera's high-resolution imaging powers provide scientists with a unique opportunity to study how stars and galaxies form. Another key instrument is the near-infrared spectrograph and SPEAK, which helps study stars and galaxies by breaking the light they emit into different wavelengths. This technique, known as spectroscopy, reveals crucial information about an object's chemical composition, position, temperature, and motion. By analyzing the fingerprints left in the light spectrum, scientists can determine what elements make up stars and galaxy IES, giving them deeper insights into how the universe is structured. An IR speak is especially useful for examining galaxies that are billions of years old allowing us to peer into the early stages of the cosmos and understand the evolution of galaxies over time. The JW's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, is designed to observe the mid-infrared portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. MIRI excels at studying star-forming regions, cutting through thick cosmic dust to reveal the processes that give birth Earth to stars and planets. It can also identify and analyze exoplanet atmospheres, making it crucial for the search for life. By examining the faint heat signatures of these distant planets, MIRI provides scientists with essential clues about their composition, weather patterns, and even the possibility of life. The JWST spectroscopy capabilities play a major role in its quest to uncover signs of life. Using these tools, scientists can study the light passing through an exoplanet's atmosphere during transit events when the planet crosses in front of its star. This light, altered by its interaction with the atmosphere, carries vital information about the planet's chemical makeup. The JWST can detect molecular fingerprints such as water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide gases that are critical to life as we know it. By analyzing these elements, scientists gain a clearer picture of whether a planet has the right conditions to support life. Life the Telescope's comparative spectroscopy technique is particularly effective in the search for habitable exoplanets. 
Instead of studying a single planet in isolation, scientists use this method to compare the spectra of multiple planets with similar characteristics. This allows them to identify patterns or anomalies that may indicate the presence of life-supporting chemicals.